Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the GYAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our uh, current affair MCQ series in which what we do, do we daily discuss your uh, uh, MCQs from uh, current affair perspective. So, uh, uh, so today is 24 October. So let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is Shyok River is a tributary of which river? A. Ganga, B. Brahmaputra, C. Indus, D. Kaveri. So friends, answer is before you. Answer is uh, C. So it Shyok is basically a river that, that flows in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. So you can see that it is a, a right bank tributary of Enda. So here you can see uh, that uh, this Sheok is a, a right bank tributary. So uh, then uh, uh, Indus river flows and uh, it, it has multiple tributaries. Then uh, then it and then it over here it enters uh, uh, Pakistan. So uh, more detail you can uh, check by pausing the video. So let's move on to the next question. Uh, next is uh, uh, second is mission Indra Dhanush seen in news is related to a vaccination b agriculture c scientific research d none of the above so friends let me tell you that the answer is uh, a vaccination so mission Indra Dhanush is basically to strengthen and re-energize the program and achieve full immunization coverage for all children and pregnant women at a rapid pace the government of India launched mission Indra Dhanush in 2014 so goal was to, to ensure full immunization with all available vaccines for children up to two years of age and pregnant women. So intensified mission Indra Dhanush is, was basically renewed version of it which was, which was launched on 2017. So through, through this program government of India aims to reach each and every child up to two years of age and all those pregnant women who have been left uncovered under the routine immunization, immunization program. So then uh, it will cover low performing areas in selected uh, districts, for example, uh, high priority districts and urban areas. So special attention will be given to unserved low co coverage pockets in sub center and urban slums with migratory population. Now let's move to the next question. Next is Global Wealth Report 2019 is released by A. World Economic Forum B. Credit Source Group uh, C. World Bank D. None of the above. So friends, let me tell you that uh, this uh, report uh, is published by uh, annually by by credit shifts group so the answer is B so it basically tells the wealth uh, that the different uh, countries hold and uh, individuals in these countries hold so the now it has released its 10th edition of its uh, annual global wealth report so how is wealth defined uh, so it is defined in terms of net wealth which is calculated by adding the financial as well as other property real assets and uh, and then sub uh, then subtracting any debts on individual uh, uh, that, that 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 the individual may have. So key findings are that uh, China has replaced U.S. Uh, with the uh, with the uh, with top ten uh, with, with with most people in the top ten percent bracket of global wealth distribution. So you can see uh, uh, there is much inequality. So forty four percent of the total wealth of the earth is uh, uh, held by zero uh, zero point nine percent people just 47 million so they own uh, 1.158.3 uh, uh, trillion dollar so bottom half of the wealth holders collectively accounted for less than one percent so uh, you can say that 50 percent of the global population just holds one percent of the um, wealth so if in, if we further break up data then you will see that how uh, uh, how concerning is this inequality uh, that is uh, the richest 10 percent on 82 percent of the global wealth and the top one percent alone on the 45 percent of the wealth so obviously uh, the, the, the lower spread of society will uh, is surely suffering in this current mode of economic development so next is uh, 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 india specific findings are uh, india remains one of the fastest wealth creators in the world with household wealth in dollar terms growing faster than any other country so wealth per indian adult is at 14000 uh, 14569 dollar but it is nothing to be uh, uh, then uh, in uh, though this is good but then uh, ultimately the thing is that it is an average so obviously uh, uh, the, the, uh, the thing that uh, uh, this average is skewed heavily by a few wealthy individuals so India accounts for 2% of the world's millennials 
so uh, drivers of wealth of nations are basically overall size of population and country saving behavior and general level of economic capacity now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements first the 30 meter telescope is an astronomical observatory with an extremely large telescope second it is being built at the highest point in the ladakh plateau so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first so the answer is a that is one only uh, so about 70 percent of indian contribution to the 30 meter telescope uh, in in will be in the form of hardware both hardware and software for the telescope so tmt is basically an astronomical observatory with uh, which has an extremely large telescope so it is an international project that is jointly funded by scientific organizations of canada china india japan and usa so planned location is mona kia on the island of hawaii in the u.s state of hawaii so the purpose is designed for near ultraviolet to mid infrared observations uh, featuring adaptive optics to resist and correcting image blur so significance is that TMT will enable scientists to study uh, fainter objects far away from us in the universe which give, gives information about early stages of evolution of the universe. So it will give us finer details of not so far away objects like undiscovered planets and other objects in the solar system and planets around the other stars. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements about Khadi and Village Industries Commission. So uh, first is it is a statutory body established by an act of parliament under Khadi and Village Industries Commission Act of 1956. Second, its wider objective is to create self-reliance amongst people and building up a strong rural community spirit. So which of the above statements is are correct? Let me tell you friend that both of these statements are correct. So Khadi and Village Industries Commission, it was set up in uh, 1956 uh, and uh, in 1957 it took over the uh, work of former All India Khadi and Village Industries Board. So it has three main objectives which guides its functioning that is social objective is providing employment in rural areas and then economic objective is to provide saleable articles. Then wider objective is to create self-reliance among people and building up a strong rural community spirit. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to National Crime Records Bureau. First, the NCRB is under the control of Niti Aayog. Second, it is the responsibility. Uh, it is responsible for collecting, anal uh, collecting, analyzing crime data as defined by the Indian Penal Code and other relevant laws. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you, friends, that uh, uh, first statement is wrong. It is not under control of Niti Aayog, but rather it is under control of Ministry of home affairs so basically it is responsible for collecting analyzing crime data so second uh, uh, statement is correct so the answer is b that is second only so it was set up in 1986 under the ministry of home affairs so it was set up on based on the recommendations of national police commission and the ministry of home affairs task force so uh, then uh, ncrb brings up the comprehensive uh, statistics annual statistics of crime across the country country so crime in india report so being published since 1953 the report serves as a crucial tool in understanding the law and order situation across the country now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first brahmos missile is a cruise missile which can be launched from all the three platforms of land air and sea second it makes use of ramjet engine technology so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct uh, so yes it is a medium range cruise missile so it can be launched from both land air and sea and yes it, is, it uses ramjet engine technology so it is a joint venture between russia's uh, russian company and drdo so name brahmos is basically uh, uh, portmanteau uh, for, uh, formed from the uh, names of two rivers that is Brahm brahmaputra and moskova of russia so it is the world's fastest anti-ship cruise missile in operation so next is montreal protocol seen in news is related to so this is quite easy question friends answer is uh, a ozone layer so uh, the 1985 vienna convention for the protection of ozone layer was an international agreement in which united nation members recognized the fundamental importance of preventing damage to stratospheric, uh, stratospheric ozone layer so 1987 montreal protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer and its succeeding amendments were sub subsequently negotiated to control the consumption and production of anthropogenic ozone depleting some uh, substances and some hydro hydrofluorocarbons so ozone depletion is caused by human littered emissions of ODS and uh, the subsequent release of reactive halogen gases especially chlorine bromine in the stratosphere so ODS includes chlorofluorocarbons and then halo uh, halons and then methyl bromide uh, SCFCs and then carbon tetrachloride and methyl chloroform 
so these odias are long lived and they have a lifetime greater than 100 years and are powerful greenhouse gases so adoption of 2016 kigali agreement to the montreal protocol will phase down the production and consumption of hydrofluorocarbons and avoid much of the projected global increase and associated uh, climate change next is consider the following statements first the committee on reforms of criminal justice system was constituted by uh, home ministry to examine the fundamental principles of uh, criminal law uh, second the committee was headed by justice v s melimat so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct answer is both one and two so committee headed by G justice v s melimat former chief justice of the karnataka and kerala high courts had the task of examining the fundamental principles of criminal law uh, so as to restore confidence in the criminal justice system so this involved uh, reviewing the code of criminal procedure 1973 and then indian evidence act 1872 and the indian penal code 1860 Now let's move on to the last question of the day. Last question is which of the following sea does not share the border with Turkey? A Baltic Sea, B uh, sorry there is spelling mistake friends. Black Sea, C Mediterranean Sea, D none of the above. So friends, answer is Baltic Sea. So Baltic Sea is in the uh, north uh, uh, is near uh, uh, northern pole. So here here you can see that uh, uh, this Turkey is here. So Black Sea is also there. Then this is uh, this black this is Black Sea. So you can see this, uh, and this is Mediterranean Sea, and then uh, the, your uh, this is your uh, uh, then Baltic Sea is not part of it. Baltic is in basically no, uh, northern uh, uh, no, northern hemisphere near the northern hemisphere. So this is all about front students discussion about daily current affair MCQs. So if you like this discussion, then do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends, and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. And also, friends, if you have any doubt queries, you can uh, you are more than welcome to mail us at this mail ID that is shown on your screen. That is uh, achieveies21 at the rate gmail dot com, or you can also contact us at eight nine six eight nine two zero seven two zero. Lastly, friends, we also have a Telegram channel on which we have more than fourteen uh, thousand subscribers that follow us. So if in case you are interested to join our Telegram channel. Channel where we keep on posting various resources, public resources for the purpose of CSE preparation. Then you can check the description box and can join our Telegram channel and can be the part of 14,000 such other students who are following us. So this is all about friends today's video. Thank you. Have a very nice day.